Knights of the Great Legion, this is Master Max Citadel, and welcome to another Max Reacts. This one was heavily, and I mean heavily, requested. I've been getting requests up the ass ever since this video came out, the Walton Files number two. I've been getting requests on my Discord server, in my YouTube comments, on Twitter. Uh, during some of my live streams, a lot of people joined the chat just to tell me to take a look at this video. Hell, I've been getting requests even on some completely random YouTube videos that I happen to find in my YouTube recommendations, like this one here. Massive Alligator takes casual stroll through South Carolina golf course. How random is that? It's one hell of a random video it just popped up and I saw this massive alligator and i was like hey it kind of reminds me of king k roll so i'm gonna write a little funny comment i wrote this gangplank galleon starts playing and look at what i get look at what i get i really want you to see what a lottery scene you hear king k roll by the way the walton files 2 is out what are the fucking odds of someone finding me in that comment section and what are the odds for them to request the Walton Files number two I mean it's just been non-stop please take my word for it I've got at least a hundred requests and these people better show up they better show up cuz I'm doing it for them to just zip it to just shush the hell up okay they need to shush they just need to do it cuz I'm Finally getting right into the thick of it. It's a pretty long video. I think it's about, what, 18 minutes? Yeah, it's 18 minutes long, so I'm gonna trim the fat of the intro. I'm really gonna keep this short. Uh, of course, this was made by Martin Walls. I already talked about him in my reaction to the first um, the Walton Files. If you haven't seen that, you should probably look it up, because apparently you guys are obsessed with the freaking Walton Files. So take a look at my first reaction, if you haven't already. And then uh, I'll, I'll be waiting for you for this one. So yeah, uh, Martin Walls, very, very creative. I feel like he's the closest to Squimpus McGrimpus in terms of quality. And um, I do believe this video is not gonna disappoint. Seeing just the sheer amount of requests I got, it better be good. It better be fucking great, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna get right into the thick of it. I do believe we have subtitles. So let me see. Yes, they are not generated by YouTube, so we have some quality subtitles, and I'm just gonna get closer here, and uh, I'm gonna put the video right where Shadow is. I know a lot of people have been appreciating uh, Shadow in the background, so I'm gonna keep him there. Anyway, Walton Files number two. Let me just set this fucker up. Uh, one sec. All right, everything is set. I think it's about time we take a look at this uh, highly requested Walton Files. Let's delve right into this, this baby. I did put the subtitles on, by the way, so, um, they're not generated by YouTube, so they should be accurate to the video. Got, uh, cute mascot, I gotta say. That's adorable. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. And you gotta give it to Martin Walls. Those videos are really long. And what the fuck was that? I I didn't miss this. Something flashed on the screen very quickly. Let, let me try to go back so we can have a proper look. If I don't get it here, I'll get it while I edit the video. <clears throat> you Did you see something or is it me? Okay, there was a YouTube link of sort. Did you, did you guys see that? There was like a short YouTube link that, that got cut off. Um, again, I'm gonna freeze frame and put it on screen uh, as I edit this. There's always some hidden shit, so you gotta keep an eye out for it. Hello, the Hello. FBI member is an employee, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bond's Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the- Hey, 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 again, again with the- uh, What is that? Why is that censored? I mean, one of the- one of the names, uh, clearly can be shown here, so... 
Let's keep that in mind as we go on. There has to be good reason. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. The Relocate Project, that's the official title of this video. Into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the Relocate Project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility safely some months secured. after the restaurant's closure. Yeah, right. Oh. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appear, such as books, merch, animated movies. We even got a TV Okay, show. okay. Again with the... Sh okay, did you see that? There was a VHS tape. Disappearance of Jack Walton. VHS. Got a TV show. So many Easter That's eggs. when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robot of Bond's burgers. He still doesn't have a neck. Of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain but also a giant heart. Okay, no, I see that face. Oh, I see you. I see you. It's like a face in the shadows right now. And I was kind of scared where that one was going to go. Not only with a, what, giant brain, but a giant... <sighs> you can figure out the rest. <laughs> I, I've made enough of these jokes. Ah, oh, yes. Let's reprogram those demons. Benny. Okay. How did that go? Mouth. Mouth is a pre-relocate feature. Blink. Okay, it's just some general information below. It's nothing that important. Okay, so it can actually roll its eyes like that. It's got some sass. Surprise? Yeah. Looking for friends. Or looking for victims. It's one and the same, really. This is taking a big chunk of the video right now, this this little segment here. It's gotta lead to something good, right? Oh! Oh! Well, there you go! <laughs> I had to say it! I had to say it! Yeah, 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 I saw you the first time! Well then. There was someone inside the suit. Successful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out, or at least trying to find a way out. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. White the rabbit, needs, rabbit to get. needs to get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. Or the bunny rabbit. The rabbit is that what it is says? Starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. It's starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Cause the rabbit ain't white, as far as I can tell. It's pretty purple to me. Feed it something! Like, what the fuck do you want me to say? Just feed the goddamn rabbit! It's not more complicated than that. Yo! Oh. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> oh, and it's in the cage. Okay, missing poster of... I couldn't quite tell who that was.
and we were off to such a great start. You know, everything was cutesy, but it all went to shit pretty quick. Ah, subtitles! Today we will focus on the area tour and Finally. presentation inside K9, the Bunny Smile Storage Facility. Mm hmm True thing? We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most importantly, you want me to get the purple suit? I got the red suit right now, but I can swap. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. We got a card. For Brian. Hello. I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. Nervous is accurate. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job task? Do I have my gun? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. No, you don't have your let's gun. You're not going the in there. you will require for your job at K9. Lantern. Check. Snack. Check. Key. Check. Camera, check. You're missing something. Oh! Oh, look at that! That creepy son of a bitch is in the backpack as well! <laughs> I don't know if that was meant to be creepy, but... I mean, that got a chuckle out of me! He just, like, bumps out of the backpack. Hey! It's, it's kind of like some YouTube poop shit. I, I don't know. I, I, I find that pretty funny. M maybe it's just me. <laughs> wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Maybe turn we should. Light. Turn on the light. Turn on the. Turn on the fucking light. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky, and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with coworkers. You name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Fair. Okay. Oh! Something popped up again. Some weird shadowy All right, figure. This is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The All second door right, is used to hide kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide. Uh, what about the third door? What about it? What about it? You cut off there. Welcome to the basement. Right now, you. Okay, there might be a way for me to reverse that if it was just like. Reverse audio. I can easily do it um, in my editing software and see if it makes any sense. I'm just gonna go ahead and play that clip. Rosemary would go to the restaurant every night, hoping that his beloved husband would reappear after being missing for weeks, but no response until one day she heard a voice saying, "I know where she is, Rosie, coming from the backstage." So you are let's in the go. main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. In the Bond's Burger restaurant, remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now, let's move on to the next room. How odd. I remember we visited this room already. Um... Uh, who's that? By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose Broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. Okay, just dispose of the car. No, put it in the sink. 
when she woke up. She looked beautiful. Yep, she was you. But on the inside. Your body was bleeding? Uh, no shit! Okay, you can put two and two together. That woman there is now in the suit. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. The employees left to right are Hillary, Ashley, and Kevin. Okay. Oh no, but um, the place itself was open during a short period of time, in which um, certain number of cases mm -hmm. occurred around the area. Yeah. Huh. yeah. And there were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight, like two or three in the morning, along with the lights on, which was weird because back then the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the place closed after people reported hearing the screams of the adult woman inside the restaurant. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. yeah she's she's Somehow, a sheep the now. The case was reported. Restaurant decided to close the doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in, and they mentioned later that the animatronics like the entertainers were completely absent and the curtains were closed. That's odd. Fuck. This floor reminds me of the movie. The, uh... Is that Chainsaw Man? Evil Dead was a good answer, too. With the new one. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the other soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? Um, I think we should restore yeah. as much as we can, but thing. Yeah, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be busy. How are they not so we can add the blink and eyes terrified this looking one. at this shit? I'm talking to really Danish. I'm going to have to someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? When the place goes down, some of them test the company who created the robots, kind of revised them after noticing a good amount of... Irregularities in them. Irregularities, huh? Oh. Good night, guys. Ah, it is so cold in this You're sleeping there? Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? Is it for the third door? I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly. Could be for that Actually, elusive third door. Maybe, but we're, uh, but more importantly, why are they sleeping Hello. there? Why the, the fuck would they sleep there? Yeah. Sleep there? Bad news. Your program case was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot, some damaged parts in the skeleton models, it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah. We hope we can go back with better equipment and better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, relocation project. And log. Okay, these three are insane. These three are certified okay, insane. Exactly. I use my camera because I am planning to buy her with a ski ski. I'm sure whatever this ski hides could save the project. I will show this one she has once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door, labeled back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Simple? Uh, you have a death wish? What's with you? You, you? You've got a death wish. I'll just try and pick around doors and see what's inside. After a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff, I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kinda of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find, since I'm in a rush, of course, and... Uh, K9. This, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think? Um, as you can see here, there are some, uh, spare heads. Nothing I just seem to be on. <laughs> Well, this is a bizarre. 
I can't really tell if there's money in the robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. <laughs> Well, well, well. Before. I am. I've never Here's seen the clown. Clown thing before. Like, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close. Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing. Is. I don't really know why this dude has cassette. You're gonna approach it. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties, like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out. <laughs> well, she brought... She brought brought this upon herself, guys. If she ends up dead, she really brought it upon herself. Okay, he said a bunch of names here. I couldn't quite keep track of all of them, but there's a reason why he said them. Did anyone take notes? <laughs> like I said, she uh, brought this upon herself. She should have known them much better than to mess around these animatronics. Now she's uh, she's dead meat. that what was that what was that hold up we made it to the end of the video but there was a uh, was something that popped up all right i got that stupid message it wasn't an easy task but i got it here it says they left the next day they thought ashley left early but she was in the back doors ashley is the one who of course died screaming as much as she could but no one heard the screams the following days the caretakers would complain about awful smell Coming from the back doors, company decided to shut down the facility until new advice. The relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley is still there, but she's not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful, 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 beautiful. And also, I saw something else here, and I think it's the rest of that YouTube link. It popped at the, uh, there you go, there you go. Okay, there it is right there. Do I have a pen? Do I have a pen? I want to take note of that. I, I want to try to get to this video and watch it with you guys. Um, get to the bottom of this, because it could be an interesting clue. Let me just go get a pen. Alright, so I cracked up the code. I put the two pieces of the URL together to get to this video here. Took me a few attempts, because I keep messing up when it comes to zero and O, oh, I keep thinking that they're one and the same, so uh, it took me a few attempts, but I, I got there. The video's called Lucky You. It was indeed uploaded by Martin Walls. So, um, it's kind of a bonus to the second episode in the Walton Files. Let's take a quick look here, see what's up. I'm just gonna scoot right up here. Come join the party! Okay. Okay. Whenever I see kids in those things, I always get a bad feeling. Last shows before closure. 
There we go. Thank you for the smiles. I really get a bad feeling about this. Condemn. Mm hmm. Well, I guess it just gives us a better idea of the timeline and whatnot, how these events unfolded. Please, no, hey, I don't like this, yeah, I don't like this, yeah, I don't like this at all, hey, you buddy. You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning. For I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but there's nothing he can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. 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 Take your pills. Safety and pills. Take your pills. Can't you see? I made them beautiful. I don't know how. I didn't even mean to. But I did. They try to talk to us. Through analog. They will be heard. This is their cry for help. Besides, they want us to know. What happened that year. But we must be patient. Look. They are filled with life. They dance to the music. They laugh and sing along. They're perfect. They are beautiful. They will see you soon, Sophie. You know, this video was called Lucky You. I certainly don't feel lucky right about now. Uh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to dig deep in these kind of videos, because that, that is what you get. That's what you get. You get more creepy shit. Um, so there you have it. I mean, I reacted to the entirety of The Walton Files 2. I'm sure if I would have missed this video, a lot of people would have brought it up in the comment section. So, uh, I'm kind of glad I managed to put the two pieces together to get this thing. And, uh, I feel like beautiful is the new criminal. You know, it used to be criminal, criminal. Now it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And take your fucking pills, Sophie! Take your pills! Don't you dare not take your pills, safety and pills, safety and pills. Um, boy, that was fucking messed up. <laughs> that was that was really messed up. But uh, take these words to heart. Don't put the puzzle pieces together just yet. I mean, Martin Walls himself is telling us to wait for further videos to be uploaded before we start. Uh, figuring out exactly what happened uh, so theories should wait all right we should wait to have the full picture here before we jump um, onto any conclusions so yeah for now I'll just <sighs> try to take a deep breath uh, this was a lot to take in I uh, Ashley really really was stupid on that one I mean, she got this key thinking, Oh, it's gonna be a lifesaver! And it's just... 
the beautiful irony of it. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful is right. Beautiful irony. Just open it and hey, you died. Just don't, don't mess around these animatronics. Seriously. Uh, from the looks of it, they all have a corpse inside. As you pull down the mask, it just reveals a sort of decapitated face. It's uh, not a pretty sight. But anyway, he says he made them beautiful, so I guess he's got to be right. Uh, I'll just leave you guys on that. Hopefully you enjoyed. You got your freaking video. I did it. And uh, I'll definitely be on the look lookout for future uploads. I mean, Squimpus is done with her series, so Martin Walls is really the next big thing as far as I'm concerned. I mean, those videos are really interesting. So I'm going to be uh, very curious to see part three. And I'll get to it whenever I possibly can, alright? You don't even have to request it. I am planning to get to all of them as they come out. But sometimes it's just life gets in the way. And it keeps me from releasing a video. Um, you know, within the day was uploaded. Like, you gotta be a bit patient. But still, thank you for watching. Please do support Martin Walls. Look up the original series. Uh, let's try to get him to 10,000 subscribers. As I'm looking at this... He's very close, not quite, but a few hundred subscribers away from hitting 10,000. And it's, uh, it's, it's deserve, really deserve. So yeah, let's try to get Martin Walls up there. I'm, I'm pretty sure by the time this is uploaded, he's already at 10,000. So let's just keep, keep it going. And uh, yeah, do look up my Discord server as well as the Patreon page to keep this channel going and to keep me uh, in in business to take a look at your requests and to crank out videos so all support is greatly appreciated and i'll see you in uh another video about the walton files at some point uh, until then i will say to all you beautiful viewers take it away take your pills <laughs>